welcome back guys today in this short illustrator tips video i will show you guys how to place small objects around a shape or path inside illustrator this is the first video of this uh, short illustrator tips series where i will take a small subject and explain to you guys uh, these tips can be useful for your project to save time and also maybe you guys can learn something new all right so let's get started with this uh, tutorial you can place small objects along the path by many ways in illustrator but this is using the blending modes this way you can place the object while you uh, blend the object into different shapes as well so by doing so you can create complex objects very easily all right so let's start drawing some objects in here i will draw a ellipse on one side and i will give a different color for this ellipse and i will draw a rectangle on the other side like this in here all right so let's use the blend tool and bend both of these together so select both of these and go to the blend tool in here select blend tool and click once on the circle and once on the ellipse which will blend this object into circle to rectangle like this all right so we already know how to make two shapes to blend together like this but every time you blend you will see blended object will be placed in a straight line like this and if you want to place these blended objects in a circle path or any other shape it's really easy to do first thing let's place all these blended objects in a circle path all right so let's go to ellipse and draw a circle in here by holding the shift key and just a path and select all of these objects including the path go to objects and blend and inside blend select replace spline which will replace the circle we have created with the blended objects like this you can double click and again you can go into settings and you can change the settings if you want it same as you do with the blend tool in here so i'll just cancel this one and if you guys see carefully starting and ending of these shapes are on an anchor point that's why you don't see the path is not closed to close the path you just need to add an anchor point next to one of these anchor point in here so i will just add an anchor point with the add anchor point tool in here now our path is starting and ending next to each other like this you can adjust this based on your preference as well beside the close path you can also do this with the open path any shape you want so i will just draw a shape in here like this and also i will draw a circle shape in here and i will make a fill color for the shape and this time i'm going to use the same shapes to blend so that there won't be any different i just want to make this circle go along with this spline in here all right so you can blend with the blend tool or you can go to the same place as earlier object blend and make blend now again select all of these objects and make a replace spline which will replace our shape with the circles like this so to change these positions of these circles you can add anchor points like this so that every time you add anchor points you will see the shape is changing all right guys thank you for watching hopefully this is a useful tutorial for you guys and i will make more tutorials similar to this one shorter versions and see you guys in the next tutorial thank you